Hey YouTube, so I'm, I'm working on some more bar stool tops. I got four done, I got three left to do. Um, I thought I'd show uh, a little video of how I get my coating, so how I go from the foam to the coated part. Uh, it's not something I've been shown because I've been experimenting a bit, but now I think I'm happy with where I'm at with my process. So I'm just gonna throw some of that in and, and then we can look at the results of that from those that are already done. And I will have a video coming out soon of hopefully having all these seven parts poured and, and the stools done. So keep an eye out for that one, maybe in a week or two. So I'm just going to glue these two pieces of foam together. Uh, I just spray foam the edge or uh, spray adhesive the edge there. And um, I got this board just clamped to the table. And I, I kept my spoil piece as a bit of a support. And I'm going to push these together like so. Add another spoil piece. And then just push on it with some gentle pressure and clamp it to the table. Just like so. So these pieces are a bit too big to kind of dunk and stuff. So, uh, I'm just gonna, I got soapy water. I'm just gonna flood the front with some soapy water, drain that off and then flood it with some wet mud and then stick it here to, to dry, just facing up. So this is just soapy water, a bit of dish soap. I used to spritz them. Uh, one thing about spritzing them, you create a lot of bubbles, but I find if you flood them like that, you don't make as many bubbles. Like normally I'd dunk these, but it doesn't fit in there, so. I'm just trying to flood the details. And then I'll let the, I'll let a bunch of the excess just strip off. And then I'll lay it down flat to dry. So now they've been sitting for a little while, I'm just gonna take a little compressed air, just lightly blow them down, and you'll see all these little bubbles pop, and you can get into the letters and stuff and make sure there's no bubbles trapped in there. And that's it. I'll just I'll do that a couple times before it sets up and just check them over, keep an eye on them. So here's uh here's the coating dry. And uh I went back after the top was dried, I just went back with a brush and brushed on uh, a thin coat and let that dry. So, there you go. This one's a little thin, but I'm going to go with it anyway. Ideally, it'd be a little thicker than that. And again, I just 
went back and brushed on brushed on the bottom. Well, here's the first one. These are straight out of the sand. I haven't done anything. Um, the first one came out really good. The second one was the big oval one. I've got quite a few leakers on this. You can see on, on the corners of the cut, you can get these leakers. That usually means, I think that means my sand might have been not tight enough, so I didn't vibrate it in enough. Other than that, it looks pretty good. The seam up the middle, you can hardly see it. I think most of these will break off. I think I can clean that up. The third one here, my stupid can fell over and I almost doused my feet in, in aluminum, but I got lucky there. I kept pouring it and it worked out for the most part. I got a little bit of a defect here, but that's all right. And a little bit in the A, but saved it. <laughs> and the last one, fourth one, looking pretty good as well. I got the A, the A filled in on me, so I have to dig that out. So here's the results after a wire wheel. Very much bubble free. I didn't have to pick any out really. It was really good. This one had, you know, this one had a bunch of leakers that I broke off, but there was no bubbles. I mean, all the letters are bubble free. So I'm pretty happy with that method for coating them. There's the A on this one had filled in. I chiseled that out, but. I did get some, uh, some little pitting though. I'm not sure what happened here. This is the one where my crucible fell over or my, uh, my cup fell over. I continued to pour and I saved it. There's a, you know, there's a inclusion or whatever there, but it's not too bad. A bit of character. And this one's got some pitting too. I'm not sure what happened there. But that's it. So I'm happy with that process and uh, I should have a video out here in the next week or two of making my stools. So keep an eye out for that.